Would you like to learn how to cook salmon perfectly every single time? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video. We're gonna make ours, I'm gonna bake it in the oven. It's pistachio crusted salmon with a few other things. Not too many though. Very simple recipe. It's gonna be in the oven right away. And out comes this, oh, it's just incredible salmon that you're gonna love. This salmon turns out so tender and juicy, you're not gonna believe it. You're gonna make your salmon this way all the time. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, here's chef joke number one. Can the salmon be contained? No, but a tuna can. So I wanted to mention that this recipe I got inspired by by reading a book that my son brought to my attention called Salt, Fat, Acid, and Heat. And they talk in that book about slow cooking the salmon, and so I decided to try it, and it works great. So this book is really fascinating. It helps you master the, the basic elements of cooking and it talks about those four ingredients. And I tell you, it's pretty fascinating. I've gone through the book a little bit, but I've got lots more to do and there's lots more to learn. I'm gonna leave a link for this book down in the description. You can check it out if you want, but I highly recommend it. For the salmon today, I'm using Trader Joe's Fresh Atlantic Salmon. It is farmed. I don't usually buy farmed fish, but I have made the exception here just because it's reasonably priced and it does taste pretty darn good. I also prefer king salmon over say sockeye, but uh, king salmon can be very expensive. Anyhow, the piece I have here is not even, right? You can see how thick it is over here as opposed to the other side, it's about maybe even a quarter inch thick. Okay, so let's take the salmon out of the packaging and place it on a paper towel covered plate, which we will then pat it dry. I have a parchment paper covered baking sheet here, which I'm gonna place the salmon on. Easier cleanup, right? Who doesn't love that? Now I'm gonna rub it with some olive oil. You don't need a lot. I'm gonna do both sides. And the edges. Paper's gonna slide around a bit, but that's okay. Okay, we'll lay it right there. And then I'm gonna season this very lightly with some salt. Not too much because the sauce we're gonna be putting on here has salt in it as well, so we don't need too much. Just a little bit all the way around. Okay, I'm gonna be using coconut aminos here, teriyaki flavor, this has a little bit of sweetness in it. So you wanna use this just a little bit, just a little coating. And if you don't wanna use the teriyaki style, you can use uh, just regular coconut aminos and it, it's not sweet. This just has a nice hint of sweetness. Now at this point, we'll need our pistachios. Now I have these from Costco and they are delicious. They are salted and they're just fantastic. Now I'm gonna measure out some pistachios and I always make more than I'm gonna use for my fish because I use them on other things as well. So I'll place these in my food processor and then we're going to grind them up. Now, you can grind them as fine as you want. I like them to be just a little bit crunchy. So go ahead and pulse these and you want a consistency that looks something like this. So you'll see we've got some small pieces and we have a little bit of the larger sizes too. I'll pour these in a bowl and then we'll go ahead and spoon it on the salmon. You just want to get a nice even coating all across the top of the salmon. And make sure to press the pistachios into the salmon just like you would the like button if you were enjoying this video. Once this has a nice coating, we'll place it into a preheated 225 degree oven for about 40 minutes. And you can check the internal temperature. You want it to be about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. Do you know what it's like to be a fish? Nope, I don't, but I'll ask a salmon. <laughs> you remember all those pistachios that we had left over from the salmon? Well, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna place mine into a mason jar and I'm gonna save them and I'm gonna put them into smoothies or I'll put it on my oatmeal or I'll put it in a salad, you know? So there's many, many options and I tell you, it's really good for you and they're delicious. So while that salmon is cooking, we have time to 
cook up a little side dish. And so I'm going to do something easy here with some asparagus. We're just going to grill it up on the stove. So we'll coat it up with a little bit of olive oil and season it with a little bit of salt. That's basically all you need. All right, I'm going to take this over to the stove and I'm preheating a cast iron pan here over medium heat. Now you can see it's got a little smoke coming off of it, so it's nice and hot and ready to go. Okay, we'll drizzle a little olive oil here, or you could use avocado oil if you want. I'm going to swirl the oil to cover the bottom of the pan, and then I'm going to toss in those asparagus. Don't overcrowd your pan, just make sure that most of them can touch the bottom of the pan, that way they will caramelize and taste even better. These should be done in, say, five to seven minutes. The only other things we have to prepare before our fish is done is just slice up some lemon and we'll chop up some basil or you could use parsley. If you're using basil, go ahead and stack your leaves and roll them up and then slice away. The salmon was done at 50 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and slice it up into pieces and plate it up. This salmon is so tender and flaky, you've got to be really careful when you serve it up so it doesn't fall apart. We'll add our beautiful asparagus here, perfectly cooked, at least for me. And then we're going to season this up with some of our basil that we chopped up earlier. Give it a little sprinkle, and then we're going to finish it with a nice squeeze of lemon all over the top, even on the asparagus. I love the flavor and the tenderness and the flakiness of this salmon. Let me know who's making this in the comments below. Another side dish that would go with our salmon is our jicama fries. These are low carb and delicious, nice and crunchy. If you've never tried them, you gotta try them. Click the link on the screen, and it'll take you right to the video. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment down below, all right? We'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.